Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining the, the session. Um, so basically what we will speak today, we wanted uh, to speak a bit more to do a retrospective regarding the LibreOffice community survey they, that we run, uh, that we run this year. And uh, what we will be covering today, uh, Marina, if you can go to the next slide, thanks. Uh, so basically, we will start with a bit of a story, why we wanted to do this community survey, how uh, it, it has been like structures, and then in the end, we will do more analysis of the answers of the raw data that we have, and uh, some open discussion uh, for the next steps for uh, the survey. So why we need it, uh, how it started. Uh, since we wanted to improve things in our community related to the uh, contributors, uh, you can improve things when you know better uh, what are these gaps or what are the things that we need to improve. And for this, we wanted to better understand um, who are our com um, contributors, where are they based, uh, what needs they have, what things we should improve, um better understand the local communities uh how we can support them uh what countries or uh cities we are missing or areas and so on uh so uh, basically we wanted to um and since also part of the survey we have also like some uh we had some open questions we wanted also to give some uh, more space uh, for, you, for you all to give some suggestions uh, and identify the areas where we, uh, where we can focus and that we can improve. Um, and of course, like we also want to, uh, wanted to guide the project where the community wants to go. That's why we wanted to listen to you, uh, your needs, your ideas, your feedbacks, uh, so we, we can see what, what we can improve and um, where we as a community want to go. Uh, so uh, the next slide, please. So uh, how we structured uh, the survey and also this survey started as an idea from um, the uh, MC uh, membership committee team. Um, so basically focusing on um, the let's say the, the most important things uh, that we wanted to, uh, to see the, the membership base and so on. So that's why one of the first questions we wanted also, uh, since the survey was not just for TDF members, but for uh, all the people that are contributing in one way or another uh, to LibreOffice, we wanted to see if uh, you are also part of the TDF membership, if you are already a member. And we wanted also to understand that uh, if someone was not, what was the reason and how we could improve this. And then the, the next one was more about uh, like the contributors and the users. So like um, people that are contributing, uh, how long they have been using LibreOffice, how long they have been as contributors and also what kind of, uh, what type of contributions they are also making to LibreOffice. So, uh, we could see like what areas we are missing, for example, here. And uh, also to better understand um, how uh, much time basically you spend on LibreOffice or the contributions that you have done. And uh, specifically we have uh, asked in the last three months since also is uh, related to uh, one of the questions that we ask uh, when you want to become a TDF member. And uh, then also, what are like the, the top reasons for you that make you contribute to LibreOffice? Uh, the next, uh, it's more related to some improvements that we can do for LibreOffice, for the community and the outreach. So basically, we wanted to see how we can make um, the, uh, contrib like the contributions to LibreOffice more attractive to people, more easier. Um, and uh, what we could improve in our community, what is like missing in your point of view. Um, and also we had like the, the, an open question related to um, if you know any other open source contributors in your country that we can collaborate with them um, to also like make it better. And then the other part is more to the demographic. So we wanted to understand basically in which country you are living. So we could see how spread uh, are our contributions, what languages, uh, language or languages you speak, 
uh, if LibreOffice is available in, in uh, your language, uh, what is your gender, education level, and age range? Uh, so uh, we could see the data if they are like kind of connected with, with each other, in which areas we are lacking more, um, and how we could um, improve this part. And the next, so the last one uh, part of the survey was the, the open comments. So basically, uh, this was like uh, more to uh, what we were missing in the other parts that we didn't mention. And here you could share more uh, feedback on the things what uh, we could improve. And we got a lot of feedback that Marina will uh, share it later. So uh, how uh, we announced uh, the survey. So uh, the survey. Um, was announced uh, as a blog post. And uh, thanks a lot, Mike, uh, for um, uh, writing the blog post and publishing it. Uh, and uh, the channels that we uh, thought were better to promote it uh, were the, like the blog post, the mailing list. Uh, but we didn't promote this on the social, the main social media channels because since uh, we wanted to be more focused on the contributors and not uh, just users, uh, that uh, they are not mm, contributing in any way uh, to LibreOffice, we wanted uh, this to be the main target of uh, our survey. Uh, and that's why the survey started also uh, in, uh, on September 8th. It was running for two weeks, and then uh, we also extended a bit the deadline. And the survey had uh, 70 questions included. And uh, also a very big thank you goes to uh, Heiko as well for the great help uh, with, the, with the survey and Lime survey that uh, was the software that we used uh, for the survey. And uh, yeah, also big thanks to all the people that also helped us and gave us feedback uh, for the survey, the questions uh, when we were working on it. And um, yeah, I think that's that's it for now. So I will leave it uh, to Marina now uh, for the, the rest. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, as uh, Jona was saying, uh, definitely uh, thanks to all the uh, people involved, uh, also giving us uh, uh, feedback on how to refine uh, the questions, uh, um, also keeping into account uh, the, the needs of the local communities. And um, uh, for what concern are the uh, details of this, uh, this analysis, um, the results are uh, quite uh, interesting uh, in terms of uh, uh, participation uh, because we had uh, um, a total of uh, 251 uh, um, submitted uh, survey. So for reading uh, this, uh, this table, uh, um, you can see the, the column uh, where there is a, with, the, with the title of food questionnaires. Uh, that uh, means that in that case, uh, uh, the person that was submitting uh, the um, uh, answers was also finalizing uh, uh, the, the survey, pressing uh, the submit button at the end. Uh, the other column is listing uh, uh, the incomplete uh, uh, survey where uh, people were uh, not submitting the, the full results uh, or in general not pressing at the end uh, this uh, submit button. Uh, we decided uh, to take into account uh, also those uh, incomplete uh, answers because in any case, uh, this one is the very first uh, uh, survey we are uh, running. Uh, so even if the data are not uh, uh, complete, it's definitely uh, good to have uh, an overview uh, of uh, how things are, are going. And um, yeah, uh, the, the majority of the um, of the answer were uh, submitted uh, just at the beginning uh, of the opening time of the survey. So we, we started on uh, August 25th with the, with the announcement uh, and uh, on the next day we had already 114 results. Um, then the trend is uh, less or more the same. Uh, the, there was uh, an increase uh, 
quite constant uh, until uh, September 8. Uh, that was uh, the official deadline uh, for closing the survey. Uh, we decided to leave it open a few more days uh, because, you know, there's always uh, someone uh, that uh, uh, is reading the message uh, uh, too late and maybe wants to try. And in any case, I mean, uh, we had uh, um, only uh, 246 uh, full surveys to evaluate, so it was uh, still uh, fine to, to keep it open uh, a bit longer. Um, after a few days, uh, if, um, on this icon was, uh, was right, uh, the number of uh, uh, full submissions uh, was not really uh, increasing. So that was uh, less or more the uh, number that uh, we were expecting to get after two weeks uh, uh, of uh, survey. And uh, yeah, it was uh, exactly right. Um, before going to the details, uh, if you have uh, any questions on the on the slides, uh, uh, feel free to uh, to ask uh, to to interrupt. Uh, we have, uh, in any case, uh, a discussion uh, session at the end. Uh, but uh, given the uh, amount of uh, information uh, we are going to to see together, it's perfectly fine uh, to um, also have a look uh, um, during uh, the different slides uh, uh, presentation. So let's go with the analysis. Uh, the first question, as uh, John was saying, was uh, uh, related to the membership. So we were asking uh, if uh, the uh, person uh, filing uh, the survey uh, was a, a TDF member, and uh, if not, why? And um, yeah, uh, looking at um, the reasons, uh, um, looking at in general at uh, the um, results, uh, um, we saw that uh, the the answer from the members was uh, uh, quite high, but there's a huge amount of uh, uh, other people filing uh, the the survey uh, that. Uh, are quite, uh, let's see, <laughs> loud and clear in uh, stating that uh, they are not a member and uh, they don't want to become a member. So that is uh, immediately a, a first uh, a trigger that uh, we should uh, keep into account also for uh, um, further analysis uh, of uh, the data that we, that we collected. Uh, it's also interesting to see that uh, uh, there are a lot of people that are not aware that uh, there's the possibility to, to become a member. And uh, again, it's uh, um, another important uh, focus area for, uh, uh, for the membership committee, uh, first of all, but uh, in general uh, for, uh, for TDF, because in any case, uh, the members uh, are, uh, I mean, the, the member of the board of trustees uh, are the people that uh, can uh, run uh, for the for the MC that can run for the for the board uh, that can uh, vote that can uh, uh, have a say have a voice and uh, it's important uh, to tell to uh, people that are already contributing that uh, there's this uh, opportunity available so definitely another improvement area that uh, we need to look at. Um, on the uh, bottom right of the uh, slide, uh, there is also the number of people uh, that uh, uh, answered the question and uh, the number uh, that were uh, skipping uh, the question. Um, we decided to keep uh, for the majority of the questions also the um, the option uh, I don't want to uh, to answer or skip, uh, so um, let's call it as you prefer, but in any case also the, the option to uh, not express uh, any kind of comment of preference uh, on the particular uh, topic. Also for um, evaluating uh, the kind of uh, uh, answer uh, that um, this uh, freedom uh, could, uh, could bring. And um, yeah, now looking at the reasons uh, of uh, 
uh, people uh, not uh, uh, with, a, with an active uh, membership anymore. Uh, this is um, this was uh, an area um, a, a question that was uh, not with uh, the multiple choices but directly with uh, with uh, open text. So um, we tried to uh, collect uh, uh, some uh, to aggregate uh, uh, the the reasons that we we found uh, um, reported. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, the lack of time, uh, uh, it's uh, a problem uh, common uh, not only in our project, uh, but uh, uh, in uh, several other uh, open source projects. Uh, the point uh, is that uh, uh, given that, uh, I mean, a day is always uh, 24 hours, we need to find a way to attract uh, uh, those contributors uh, uh, to make uh, this extra step uh, to decide uh, to commit themselves uh, for uh, for the membership. Uh, it's also interesting to see that uh, there are people claiming, uh, uh, thinking that uh, they can't apply for the membership because they are not skilled enough. Marina, you are very hard. You are very hard to understand at the moment. Oh. Uh... Is it better or? It was perfectly fine for me. Okay. Same then here. It's my connection. Here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was saying, uh, uh, indeed, uh, the, the lack of skill, uh, the potential uh, on paper lack of skill uh, could be something uh, uh, where uh, we could try to, uh, to improve, uh, uh, trying to clarify um, which are the needed uh, uh, contribution for uh, being a, um, a, a TDF member. Uh, then uh, the other topic that is uh, on our desk uh, each day for from the last uh, two years now, of course, uh, there are several people that uh, are uh, not uh, not a member anymore. They dropped uh, the, the membership because they were simply not able to uh, contribute uh, to, to other uh, issues related uh, to the pandemic. There's also the lack of motivation. Um, and that one is connected with the points uh, that I discussed before. Uh, something uh, that uh, it's a uh, Probably an area where we could try to investigate more is this uh, lack of positive feedback. Uh, we will see that uh, this uh, seems to be a topic uh, recurring also in, uh, in other uh, questions that we asked uh, in, the, in the survey. And um, uh, then, uh, okay, there's, there are simply cases of people that decided to not extend the membership. And I mean, can happen. Uh, people are changing uh, and uh, it's perfectly fine uh, to, to decide uh, uh, that uh, it's not uh, a project or an activity that uh, is uh, relevant uh, um, for the, from the time being. Um, then uh, there is a topic uh, that uh, it's also recurring uh, in other discussions that we saw in uh, the public list uh, uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, it's this uh, uh, kind of uh, contrast uh, that um, we are seeing uh, between uh, people that are uh, uh, volunteer and people that are uh, also involved uh, on, um, on a... Um, on the job side, uh, let's say, uh, in uh, in the project, and probably also there, uh, it's uh, really the time to stress the topic that uh, uh, this community exists and can exist uh, uh, because uh, we have uh, volunteers, uh, we have uh, uh, investors, we have um, companies uh, uh, involved uh, in the in the project, uh, and that. We can uh, we can really work together. We need to find a way to to talk each other properly, but uh, we should uh, uh, understand that uh, these uh, uh, 
cooperation it's uh, it's important for uh, for the future of the, uh, of the project and um, other people uh, simply dropped uh, the membership uh, because of uh, a disagreement with the government also this one it's another uh, recurrent uh, point uh, um, expressed also in uh, in other um, questions and uh, um, it's a bit sad uh, but uh, there were people uh, complaining uh, that uh, um, there are uh, other members uh, behaving uh, uh, in a way that uh, is not uh, proper for the community and uh, they simply prefer to, to drop the membership instead of uh, remaining uh, in, a, in our project. Um, I left uh, the, the other point uh, as a as last one, uh, just because uh, uh, this one, uh, together with uh, uh, the clarification on uh, how um, contributions uh, are important uh, and uh, can uh, uh, can be accepted for, for being a member. Uh, we can't uh, also uh, forget uh, that uh, every member has a voice uh, and uh, every member can make the difference. So the perception that uh, a member can't do anything, can't change anything, uh, it's uh, a perception that uh, we should try to, to change. So this was... Um, I mean, uh, something was uh, a bit uh, of a surprise, uh, something else uh, definitely, no, was quite expected. But uh, it's in any case uh, starting to give us uh, a, an initial uh, overview of uh, the, the members and the contributors that uh, uh, decided to invest uh, their time in the survey. And looking at uh, those users, we asked them uh, for uh, how long uh, they are uh, from from when they are contributors uh, and uh, uh, from um, how long uh, they are uh, contributing to to, to LibreOffice. And uh, it's interesting to say that uh, the majority are uh, long-term uh, contributors, and that uh, uh, we have. Um, a, a small amount of um, uh, people uh, uh, that are uh, new contributors, new joiners. The, um, the part in uh, pitch uh, that, that uh, represents the uh, less than uh, one year. So probably that one is uh, another area where we should uh, investigate a bit more, trying to understand uh, uh, how to attract uh, uh, new people. And uh, this one is the area that uh, they selected uh, as an uh, area where they are contributing. Uh, in this case, uh, the answer was uh, with uh, multiple choices, um, also for trying to guide a bit uh, uh, the, um, the users on the possible uh, areas uh, uh, that we are uh, usually uh, counting as uh, contribution areas. Uh, and uh, together with this part, uh, with uh, multiple choices, uh, we were also uh, giving, uh, uh, leaving uh, uh, in, an open uh, uh, answer, an open text uh, field for specifying uh, something uh, more uh, in, uh, in detail. And uh, in this case, uh, um, grouping a bit uh, the uh, contributions uh, per, uh, per area. Um, uh, some people were um, specifying uh, uh, how they are doing uh, uh, promotion uh, and, uh, and advocacy. Um, there is, uh, uh, again, also in, uh, in, this, uh, um, in this part of the survey, um, the note that people are working on training uh, and um, training materials for, uh, for schools. Uh, so again, uh, the education sector, uh, where uh, it seems uh, we, we should uh, uh, focus a bit more. Uh, there are also um, several uh, answers on uh, activities done on uh, development uh, QA. 
and uh, of course also the um, support uh, uh, to the community and uh, in general to the LibreOffice users. So on this, uh, uh, nothing really uh, surprising. Uh, it's less or more uh, what uh, we know about uh, our community. And back to the previous uh, slide, uh, uh, looking at uh, the uh, um, number of people uh, working on the different areas, uh, uh, these uh, indeed, uh, it's... Uh, um, Again, nothing really is surprising because uh, we know, for example, that on uh, infrastructure uh, we are missing uh, more people supporting uh, the infra team. Uh, and uh, uh, we know that uh, we have a lot of people uh, doing uh, some uh, bug reporting uh, uh, before starting to go deeper into the QA uh, contribution area. So also this one uh, reflect uh, uh, quite good, I would say, uh, the uh, the actual uh, perception that uh, that we have of our uh, uh, community. And uh, um, looking at the users, so how much time they are spending on our project? Uh, we have. Um, a, a big part uh, of uh, people filing uh, this uh, survey that uh, are investing uh, more than uh, 20 hours uh, um, um, per week. And uh, this probably uh, is related uh, uh, to uh, people that are uh, working uh, on the project uh, or uh, people that are, uh, for example, part of the team or the, the governance, uh, because, I mean, being a volunteer and investing more than 20 hours per week, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's starting to, to be close to, to a real uh, job. But in any case, uh, the, the majority of the, um, uh, of the people uh, answering this question, uh, it's uh, uh, still uh, um, involved uh, between uh, one and, uh, and uh, 10 hours uh, uh, per week. Uh, the um, focus of this question was uh, uh, in the last uh, three months. And, uh, was not a random one, uh, but uh, because uh, uh, these uh, three months framework, uh, frame, frame time, it's uh, exactly uh, the uh, amount of months that we are requiring uh, for, uh, for the membership. And uh, then the interesting part. So um, top reasons for uh, contributing. And um, there is uh, um, an amount of people uh, uh, that uh, is contributing uh, for uh, uh, improving uh, the CV. So it's not just the feedback uh, that we got uh, um, also from, uh, from the other uh, activities done, uh, uh, for example, uh, this uh, next generation uh, uh, group uh, uh, focused on, uh, on young people. Uh, but uh, that uh, is uh, from all the uh, options, uh, uh, the one that got uh, uh, less uh, um, selections. There are several people uh, uh, contributing because they are paid, because they are making money with it. Uh, and uh, it's interesting uh, to see that uh, we have uh, uh, people with the, with the open source spirit. So there is a problem. Uh, I, I can uh, understand what is the problem, I can fix it, I, I can do it uh, by, by myself. So I'm uh, contributing directly with uh, uh, fixes on uh, something uh, that uh, is affecting me directly. And then uh, we have uh, the improvement of, of the skills, uh, the support for the local community and uh, the general uh, open source evangelism. So those seem to be the uh, main uh, uh, reasons uh, that are bringing uh, our uh, contributors uh, to, to the project. And um, for, the, for the reasons, uh, there was also in this case uh, an open text uh, um, uh, to, be, to be used. And uh, um, the, there are uh, several uh, 
um, different areas where we aggregated uh, uh, those uh, answers. And uh, yeah, it seems that uh, the project uh, is uh, still uh, a funny one. Uh, so several uh, mentioned uh, the uh, contributions because they like the project, uh, because uh, it's an hobby, because uh, they like the people uh, around the community. So, OK, let's uh, try to search uh, uh, to find also something uh, positive uh, in this uh, retrospective. And um, then, of course, there are people interested uh, to development uh, for several reasons. Uh, the, there are some uh, that are uh, uh, doing the development uh, because they uh, enjoy to, to develop uh, something that is uh, useful. Uh, or um, uh, others uh, that uh, uh, like to, to make uh, um, a a great and strong uh, open source alternative uh, uh, to Microsoft Office. Um, there is also a, an interesting uh, amount of people uh, uh, happy to contribute because they can uh, contribute back. So probably those people uh, from what uh, they uh, answered, um, they were uh, initially some, uh, let's say, simple uh, LibreOffice users. And uh, then they, they went uh, uh, deeply, um, deciding to, to uh, give back uh, something uh, to, to the project that uh, was uh, supporting them. Um, volunteering, uh, advocating, so knowledge sharing, uh, freedom, uh, and uh, our old topic uh, that uh, um, are connected with uh, the, the main, uh, the, the, the top uh, answer, uh, open source uh, evangelist. And uh, the next uh, question was uh, um, about uh, what uh, TDF uh, uh, could do for making uh, the contribution easier. And in this case, uh, the amount of uh, um, answer that we got was, uh, was really huge. So um, I, I put the content uh, directly in, uh, uh, in a text for making it uh, easier to read. Let me just switch. So you should be able to see it. If not, please uh, tell me. Should be fine. OK. So on this, we have uh, several uh, cluster where we aggregated uh, uh, the, the areas. Uh, the first one uh, is the governance of the project. Then uh, we have uh, the local communities. Uh, then uh, we have uh, the, the membership in general. Uh, then there were some uh, feedback uh, on uh, the uh, QA part of the project, uh, in general, more in general, on the development. Uh, there was uh, something uh, on, uh, on the user experience, uh, and uh, yeah, it was um, mainly the same uh, um, answer shared uh, uh, several times. So yeah, I got this one is uh, is for you. <laughs> And uh, yeah, then uh, certification, uh, marketing, and advocacy. Uh, the uh, mentoring, uh, it's also another huge uh, batch of uh, feedback. Uh, documentation and uh, translation. And uh, there was also someone uh, simply happy with uh, what uh, is going on now. So there were some uh, um, uh, answers that were just stating, uh, I I'm fine with, uh, with the current status. So looking at the um, different uh, cluster, it's also good to see that uh, some uh, of the requests uh, are already uh, action items uh, that uh, are in progress or are planned. So it's good to see that uh, the feedback we are getting, uh, it's also in line with, uh, with what uh, um, has been planned. So one example is uh, the certification. 
and uh, uh, there are several requests uh, to have uh, uh, the certification for the end users, uh, for the students, uh, or in general for uh, advanced users, uh, advanced uh, instructor. And uh, the comment on that was uh, more related to the teachers uh, in, the, in the schools uh, with uh, this uh, certification for being uh, a, a trainer. Uh, plus, uh, there were several requests uh, on uh, uh, for having uh, um, those kind of uh, certifications uh, um, made available uh, uh, in uh, um, an online fashion uh, in a automated uh, uh, way for uh, um, making it uh, possible and not extremely complex uh, to, to get uh, the certification. Um, the other big cluster it's uh, uh, the governments and uh, on this the feedback are still uh, not exactly exciting uh, because we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, people asking for uh, more transparency uh, for a better uh, transparent uh, governance uh, strategy roadmap uh, vision so it seems that uh, we still need to focus on uh, on this area. At least uh, this one now is the uh, the feeling I got reading uh, the the answer. Uh, there are still uh, um, complaints uh, on uh, uh, frictions and uh, discussions uh, that um, are going on uh, in public, uh, and that uh, maybe. Uh, should be uh, avoided or at least uh, reduced. Um, I found interesting uh, the request to have uh, uh, more uh, visible data about the foundation and probably um, connected uh, together with other feedback uh, that we got. Uh, uh, we could also try to, to see if uh, there's another way to make uh, more visible uh, the data that we are already publishing. Because, I mean, we have uh, the annual report, uh, uh, we have uh, all the financial uh, uh, details uh, that are online, so the, the data are available. So probably people are not able to, to find what we are uh, making uh, available to them. There are also... Um, some uh, conflicts uh, that probably we need to investigate better uh, with, uh, with the local community um, because, as you can see from uh, uh, this uh, last uh, part of the governance uh, section, um, it's, uh, it's clear that uh, there's a kind of uh, friction uh, between uh, the the main uh, international community and the, the local projects. So uh, I think it's uh, good to invest the time on that and try to, to see, to understand the, what, uh, what is going on. Um, the same applies to the local community. It's a kind of uh, extension. There are a lot of uh, comments uh, on uh, um, English uh, perceived uh, as uh, a barrier for starting uh, the contributions. Uh, uh, or uh, the feeling that, that some other uh, communities uh, are not uh, considered uh, or valued uh, enough. Uh, there are comments about uh, kind of toxic uh, behaviors uh, that are happening uh, in the community. So definitely this is something uh, that uh, we can't ignore and uh, we should uh, have a, a deeper look at. Um, then uh, this part on the membership is definitely for uh, for the MC, so action item taken. Uh, it seems that uh, there are a lot of people that are completely unaware of what is TDF, uh, uh, what is uh, a contribution, uh, uh, how much someone should uh, contribute for being uh, able to apply for a membership. Uh, there are people asking uh, to have a guide on how to to be a member and how to contribute to the project. So definitely this is uh, an improvement uh, that is uh, sounding uh, loud and clear. And uh, for the other area, uh, QA, uh, I think that uh, the, the general summary is that uh, um, there's a kind of disconnection between uh, 
the QA team that is working hard because no one is complaining about what the team is doing. Uh, but uh, it seems that the, the team is really working hard, but there's a kind of disconnection between the development phase, uh, uh, what QA is then uh, testing uh, and trying to triage and uh, uh, the ending part of producing uh, documentation of, of uh, what has been developed. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, the, the feedback also from other, um, from other questions, from other answer. On development, uh, there's a huge list of uh, suggestions. Um, some uh, are probably already addressed or um, planned uh, to be addressed, but um, yeah, there are definitely some uh, pain points uh, that uh, uh, could be discussed uh, uh, a, a bit more for um, um, deciding how to how to act and how to. Uh, solve uh, the, the problem. And uh, another um, thing to, to highlight, uh, it's uh, also on the marketing and uh, advocacy. Um, and uh, part it's also split in the mentoring section. So the general uh, um, feedback uh, is that uh, we have a lot of materials, we have a lot of information that are split uh, and uh, fragmented uh, in uh, several different places. Uh, and for uh, uh, a new contributor is uh, still not easy to understand from where to start uh, and uh, uh, which is the right path for starting uh, slow until uh, uh, there's enough uh, confidence uh, for uh, moving up uh, on a more uh, complex task. Um, yeah, and this one it's uh, less or more um, what has been shared also for mentoring. There is a, again a dimension to uh, work with, uh, with the education sector, with, uh, with schools, uh, with the university. So this uh, seems to be a request uh, coming from uh, different uh, areas. And the same applies to documentation. Um, there's uh, uh, the need, at least uh, looks like that, uh, to improve, uh, uh, to, to provide more, uh, more guides uh, also in, uh, in languages that are not uh, English for um, uh, lowering the, the barrier uh, for starting to use the product, uh, the, the software, but also to start to contribute. And uh, this one, it's uh, less or more the overview of uh, uh, this uh, improving part. Uh, of course, uh, the document will be shared uh, together with the presentation, so we can also do a deeper analysis uh, uh, together. Uh, then, uh, let me go back to the presentation. That's, I hope, to not destroy. Just a second. Yeah, so it's this one. It's trying to get the right slide, sorry. Okay. So, um, those are the areas uh, that uh, people are asking to, uh, to see more focus and uh, improvement. So development, QA, uh, then uh, it's uh, almost comparable uh, with uh, the amount of people that are asking uh, to, to, to make uh, our community growing and uh, evolving. And then we have a uh, business and marketing, and uh, the last in the list, uh, it's um, diversity. Uh, on this, uh, I want to point out uh, something else uh, with, uh, with another slide when we will uh, have a look at the um, demographic of this uh, survey. But uh, it's, uh, it's interesting uh, in any case to look at this list and uh, try to keep in mind uh, uh, the, the order if you, if you can. Um, then, on the survey, we asked uh, um, 
if uh, uh, the, the person that was uh, filing uh, the, the survey was aware of uh, other open source project uh, in the same country. So um, the idea was to try to understand if uh, it was possible to, uh, to, to build, uh, to start uh, some uh, cooperation with other projects uh, uh, working in the same country for trying to foster a bit more uh, uh, the, the project uh, in countries where, in general, we are not really strong, we are not really present. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it seems that uh, the, the question was uh, not uh, uh, understood properly. So maybe for uh, um, for a next uh, uh, round uh, of survey, uh, we could also try to uh, provide uh, um, some more uh, description on the questions, try to clarify what uh, we are uh, really asking uh, to the to the people uh, filing uh, the uh, the survey. And uh, yes, this is really the uh, list of answer that we got on uh, on this uh, on this question. Uh, looking at the demographic, so the goal uh, of the first question uh, was to understand uh, uh, which are uh, the country where we have uh, already some uh, members, some uh, contributors, for understanding a bit uh, where to focus. Um, this is the answer that, uh, that we got from people. And, uh, um, reading uh, the replies, uh, uh, we also got that probably we made uh, a mistake because we were asking for the country where uh, a person is living and uh, the next question was focused on the language uh, spoken by the, the person. Try to understand uh, if uh, there was the possibility to integrate uh, uh, different uh, uh, local communities uh, that are making maybe speaking different languages, uh, trying to build uh, some uh, synergies, um, etc. The point is that probably uh, the question uh, done in this way uh, was a kind of uh, uh, kind of boomerang, let's say, because uh, um, specifying uh, uh, where uh, a person is living and then uh, the languages that uh, this person uh, is uh, speaking uh, is creating, uh, um, is uh, sharing uh, too much details, uh, too, too many details uh, on, uh, on the person that is filing uh, the question. And looking at the raw data, um, the number of people that skipped uh, those uh, questions about uh, country and uh, language uh, was definitely um, higher than uh, all the other in the, in the survey. So probably we need to find another way for uh, uh, trying to understand where uh, our community is already and where we could uh, do more. In any case, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, interesting to see that uh, a lot of uh, people uh, uh, that are living in Spain this doesn't mean that they are Spanish, but that are living in Spain, uh, Argentina, uh, are the, um, the ones that are filing uh, more this uh, survey. Also, for the other questions, uh, we got really a lot of feedback from uh, uh, people uh, uh, from the um, Hispano community. So it's uh, interesting to see, probably. Uh, Gustavo was uh, doing a, a good marketing on, uh, on the Hispano community for, uh, for this survey. But uh, yeah, um, for the languages, uh, um, we decided uh, to give uh, uh, an open text field for avoiding to force people uh, uh, to some uh, stricter selection of uh, languages available. Also for trying to understand uh, uh, if there were other, uh, um, other minor languages uh, that uh, we are not covering. And uh, this resulted in a kind of boomerang again, because uh, here uh, we are showing uh, just uh, um, results uh, where uh, there is uh, at least uh, more than one uh, person that was uh, adding uh, these options. Uh, but uh, we got really a lot of uh, uh, people specifying uh, um, uh, just uh, um, um, 
some different languages uh, where they were the unique one filing the uh, survey in, uh, in that way. Uh, so probably something to, to refine uh, maybe for uh, for a next round of the of the survey. The uh, thing to highlight uh, is that uh, we have a lot of uh, um, people filing the survey and specifying uh, uh, a language that uh, is not also um, including uh, English. So, for example, uh, people specifying only that they can uh, speak Spanish. So the, the, the other comment on uh, the uh, English as a barrier uh, seems to be also uh, confirmed uh, by this, uh, this other question. Uh, we have the same also for, um, uh, for other um, people filing uh, the, um, the language list with uh, uh, Japanese and uh, something else, for example. So th th definitely we, we need to check better uh, how we can uh, improve uh, the interactions between uh, the, the main international community and uh, the local communities where uh, the local community is not really able to, to interact uh, with, um, with the international community in English. And um, then there was another question asking about uh, uh, the, um, uh, the availability of LibreOffice uh, in the spoken language. And uh, this is a kind of summary of the answer that we got. Uh, this one was another open question. So um, people saying that, uh, yes, it's available, but it's hard uh, to, to set up uh, uh, the, the product in a different language. Someone else was uh, suggesting that could be nice to have uh, uh, the switch of language uh, uh, done uh, live uh, instead of being forced uh, to uh, reboot uh, um, LibreOffice. Um, Several are commenting that uh, the, pro the product uh, is available in the local language, but the support is better in English, or that uh, there are uh, partial uh, translations, uh, missing locales, uh, or uh, in general that other, let's say, minor languages are not really completely translated. And this is making, uh, uh, of course, LibreOffice not really uh, a great uh, experience uh, for, uh, for those users. Uh, then, uh, we said before that one of the focus was also to try to look at the diversity of our community. And uh, yeah, this is uh, loud and clear stating uh, uh, how the people that uh, our community, or in any case, the people that were filing uh, uh, the, the survey, that were answering the survey, um, are in, uh, in our community. And uh, the, the majority, it's, uh, uh, it's male. So when before I was saying, uh, yeah, uh, looking at the priority uh, with uh, people asking to not focus on diversity, and then uh, discovering that the majority of those people are uh, just from uh, uh, one specific uh, uh, gender. Uh, this is probably yeah, something that uh, is putting uh, that priority list uh, uh, under a different light. Um, there's, uh, yeah, there's a lot to do. <laughs> it's uh, what else I can say. Uh, maybe uh, as we, we were discussing yesterday with uh, with uh, Thorsten during uh, the um, Google Summer of Code panel, uh, could be also interesting uh, to try to look at other uh, mentoring programs uh, for trying to be in uh, uh, programs where uh, we are uh, we we are not usually visible, and uh, maybe this could be could be a way to to have a, a better uh, balance and. Uh, Please don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm looking at uh, uh, a higher amount of uh, female, for example, uh, in the community for the sickness of uh, increasing that number. Uh, having uh, a, a diverse community, it's also a way to, uh, to make uh, the community um, evolving, uh, bringing a different point of view, a different way to think in the same uh, 
uh, under the same team, under the same project. So it's, uh, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not just uh, pushing this topic uh, uh, because uh, I'm just uh, doing some uh, weird uh, uh, war uh, for uh, extremes. And um, compared with this, we have uh, also the question related uh, to the education level. So our community is mainly uh, made by male, like we said, that uh, have uh, a bachelor degree or a master degree. Um, then we have a uh, high school uh, and I would say PhD. So in any case, people with uh, uh, quite a high uh, education level. And uh, yeah, but looking uh, at um, at the education level, uh, I think we are really missing uh, uh, other um, category, other um, users uh, that uh, could have uh, different needs, for example, uh, because they don't have uh, access uh, to a high level uh, of instruction. So probably this is also something uh, uh, where we could try to, to look at. And uh, always on the demographic, uh, we have uh, the, the age of our members. And uh, yeah, we are uh, an old community. <laughs> There's nothing else to add. <laughs> the chart is uh, quite clear. Uh, the, the range uh, under 16 uh, or between 16 and 18, uh, it's uh, definitely too small. And uh, that is also the range where we could uh, get uh, much more uh, um, contributors because usually they are at school uh, they have a uh, much more free time uh, and uh, yeah we should uh, <laughs> focus on that it's uh, yeah I i'm in the section of the old so yeah <laughs> nothing else to add uh, there was a section with uh, the open comments uh, and uh, also for this one, uh, we got really a huge list of uh, open comments. Uh, it was just the closing of the of the survey. So let me show you uh, the the document that is this one. Should be readable, I hope. Uh, let me start with the positive. We have uh, one page of positive comments. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> There's a a huge amount of people saying thanks, that uh, it's not so bad. Uh, but uh, the document has uh, three pages, uh, and uh, apart from this uh, list, uh, huge list of uh, thank you and uh, um, happy and satisfied people, we also have um, a lot of areas where uh, we should try to, to work uh, on, uh, on improvements. Uh, uh, there's uh, something that has been already addressed and of course uh, this one was uh, uh, popping to my mind just because uh, we have uh, this uh, ongoing development of the new uh, tool for the for the membership committee for handling uh, the, the membership and uh, this is uh, something that we already addressed so it's uh, it's a good feedback in any case to see that uh, it was not just uh, us thinking that uh, uh, was uh, better to remove this uh, forced uh, uh, salutation uh, for the registration form. Um, apart from that, uh, uh, there are um, still uh, um, comments uh, on um, um, suggesting to focus uh, more on uh, uh, part of the um, software that uh, uh, is not really developed. Uh, uh, there were several comments, for example, on uh, on math or others uh, saying to improve uh, um, math, sorry, base. Uh, others uh, asking to improve uh, draw for making it a bit more um, close to Microsoft Visio, for example. Um, then, uh, um, 
Okay, this one was a uh, was a uh, funny. I I left the comment. <laughs> um, I, I think we still need to fight uh, uh, this. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, this uh, uh, magic uh, way to address uh, uh, the um, Apache Open Office project uh, that, uh, according to to several people, is. Uh, uh, still uh, doing good uh, because they are um, uh, having uh, more features than us. Uh, so maybe we should try to communicate better uh, the, the differences and uh, what we have uh, already on LibreOffice. Because it can be that uh, <laughs> Apache Open Office is uh, perceived as a, uh, a, a software with uh, more feature than uh, LibreOffice. Um, yeah, this comment was a, a bit uh, a, com a confirmation that uh, on that demographic uh, uh, questions probably we we could improve uh, a bit more. And uh, yeah, uh, the, the list it's uh, it's really long. Uh, th there is also someone that suggests to rewrite uh, LibreOffice in Rust. So. <laughs> Um, it's uh, not all the comments, uh, let's say, are uh, something that we need to take uh, extremely seriously. But in any case, uh, it's uh, it's good to get uh, feedback uh, to try to understand uh, what uh, uh, the community is uh, is getting from uh, from us as a as a uh, active uh, part of the project uh, or more active uh, uh, members uh, in the in the project. And uh, let me go back. So uh, this was uh, less or more the, the general uh, uh, overview. Um, the amount of information was really huge. Uh, so uh, I think we need to digest uh, <laughs> what we saw. And uh, I need to do the same. Huh? It's not just because I. Uh, presented uh, the analysis that I'm uh, ready for the next uh, steps, uh, but definitely uh, I would like to to be to to stay more in touch with the with the different uh, um, areas uh, of the project uh, and uh, try to understand better the results uh, that uh, that we got from uh, this survey for trying to make uh, our project uh, a better place for for everyone for contributing. Uh, any extra comments, uh, questions? Uh, you were all silent. I was talking too much. Actually, there are some comments, really many comments, actually, uh, in the chat. Um, starting from um, that the survey should be translated as. Yeah. For example, most uh, Japanese speakers won't get to the end because of the English, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah, point uh, taken. There was also the, the direct request to have it uh, available in uh, Spanish. So maybe for the next uh, iteration, uh, we could uh, uh, try to have a kind of uh, call for translations uh, and see from the local communities uh, who can uh, help us to, to translate the, the questions and the information in the survey uh, for the local communities. But uh, with the uh, LAM surveys, uh, it's perfectly possible to, to have it uh, available in different languages. So good. Yeah. Um, best I start at the top. Um, Gulem is... Um, saying that um, most FLOSS projects are struggling with democratic participation. And um, if um, MC has any thoughts or suggestions to board team or others, uh, how to improve that? Uh, well, um... I'm uh, speaking for myself, so yes, I have some ideas, but I think that uh, uh, maybe we can uh, we can have uh, this question directly in the 
um, closing uh, with uh, uh, the the board and the MC, so with the with the full group uh, around. I mean, I I don't like the idea that I'm uh, uh, speaking here uh, and uh, that uh, my uh, idea could be perceived as uh, the general agreement in the MC as a as a full body. So maybe I um, I, I will take a note on this, and I think we can. Uh, um, report to the, the question directly in the, in the other session, if it's fine for you, Guillaume. Another question by him was that, not question, um, he realized that some users, or better saying contributor, do not realize the label member, um, they say, LIPO office member and the communication should be improved mm -hmm. um, for what's the um, yeah that the TDF membership is not an elite group or something like that uh, and there's not a LIPO office member uh, and such an at LIPO office org address doesn't help that situation so um, at least the communication can be improved at that um, yeah. part. It's uh, also um, some um, you already um, find that out in the survey um, from yeah, answers. Yeah, indeed. There are, there are some uh, feedback on both the, the documents that I was uh, sharing uh, and uh, on both uh, you can find that, that uh, people are asking for uh, a better communication, uh, more transparency on the governance, on the decisions. Uh, so, but also people saying it's not so bad uh, in other communities. It's, it's not uh, definitely not better, but uh, there, there are margins for improvement. Let's say in this way. So yes, exactly. Okay. Um, for the survey, it would be interesting, uh, Mark Hung is um, saying if the number of uh, um, uh, languages and the countries collate with the number of downloads. <laughs> Could be interesting, actually, um, mm. to get the numbers and put them side by side um, to each other. Maybe we should do that yeah. uh, afterwards. Yeah, I mean we have the raw data, so we can uh, we can do some more uh, refinement and uh, correlation between uh, what uh, what we have. It's... Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, the answer is no. There's no correlation between uh, those data. Okay. Because I I know, um, of course, not by heart. But the but the, uh, the the main countries the the main download countries uh, and uh, the there is not uh, a direct correlation. Uh, of course, uh, uh, in some cases uh, the, the 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 speakers of a language are higher than the speakers of other languages. So, for instance, uh, speakers of Spanish are. Uh, uh, is the probably our largest uh, speakers group, uh, but uh, there are at the moment uh, there are more downloads uh, of the German version than on the Spanish version, for instance. Okay. Probably not not that many, but let's say that the downloads of the German and French version are. Uh, uh, on a scale are one step uh, uh, over the downloads of other language versions. Okay, thanks, Italo. Um, anything else from the questions? Yeah, there was some confusion about the charts that not every um, bar has its own um, label. Okay, um, can, uh, I can remake it a bit more clear. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's only for better reading. Mm -hmm. um, 
Well, there was some discussion about open office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one comment that was uh, quite funny. But I, that. I yeah. think that if you look at that comment in the term that uh, if you count security flows <laughs> and consider security flows as uh, features, uh, <laughs> Apache Open Office has definitely more features than LibreOffice. <laughs> Yeah, but in the document you will find uh, more interesting uh, comments on the uh, two different projects. <laughs> Any other comment or questions, uh, Olivier? If you are speaking, you are mute. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Yeah, uh, I was a little bit disappointed to see that uh, in the shot of the countries, not even Brazil is showing up. Um, I am uh, surprised to see because we have a quite active and complete uh, availability of LibreOffice to the Brazilian and Portuguese uh, communities. And uh, not even uh, Brazil or Brazilians or Portuguese yeah. are showing up. So this, I think it, it has to be investigated, perhaps uh, within the uh, LibreOffice Brazilian community. Uh, one, one of the things that I am uh, uh, almost sure is that we, although we have groups in Facebook, in Telegram, Facebook, for example, we have a, a, a group that is uh, as large as uh, 3,000 uh, members, uh, the survey was uh, put there, communicated, but it seems that uh, it's it just a bubble. And I am uh, wondering if the language barrier is definitely something that is uh, um, faking the, the true results of the reality here uh, about LibreOffice. So uh, I'm sure that uh, we have a quite large set uh, of installations in Brazil, and this is not reflecting in the survey. Uh, just, uh, just a I comment. Huh? I think that um, a part of the problem, it's also related to how we asked uh, that question, that was uh, probably putting the person to decide if it uh, uh, was uh, better to keep uh, uh, the anonymity of the survey uh, or to, to share more on the language and the country. So I think that uh, really on that particular question, uh, we really got uh, a, a drop of answers. So it's clear that uh, there was something wrong with the, with the question uh, uh, written in, uh, in that way, done in that way. Yeah. Yes, because uh, this, of course, is, uh, is uh, like I said, it's a bit disappointing uh because we we really provide uh the full set of uh documentation and software fully translated to portuguese yeah, and, but uh, not the survey uh, not the survey uh, yeah, yeah perhaps we miss i i missed that it may be uh, because i didn't uh, catch the uh the language barrier was so steep and uh, uh or, or or eventually to uh force um people to um uh, answer. I know that uh, uh, people are uh, end users uh, really don't like to uh, have to to read in English. Uh, uh, they uh, just drop uh, when they find uh, an English page. Um, um, it's it's not exclusive to uh, Brazilians. I think it's uh, almost everywhere where the local local language is is strong. Yeah, and, I can uh, confirm also in Italy. <laughs> well, the Japanese, I, I guess I understand exactly yeah. the point of the Japanese. Uh, it's it's absolutely the same situation here. I don't know yeah. for the Spanish how they got uh, to uh, answer the so same. quickly. Uh, we got uh, several answers directly in Spanish, uh, also with people saying, uh, uh, I'm, uh, um, I'm 
I can speak Spanish. Uh, I'm uh, going with English, but with uh, translators uh, was the same uh, for uh, Japanese uh, uh, in general for um, for the uh, Asian part of our community. So yeah, next time uh, we need to provide the, the survey in, uh, also in uh, in other languages, not just uh, English. But yeah, it's uh, we can all improve. Was the first attempt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed, I think also that is a good idea to submit uh, the survey, the next one, obviously, to our NLPs and uh, ask them to translate in their own languages. Even if in that way, in that yes, in that way, probably the the question about you know the, the sp spoken languages could be <laughs> kind of <laughs> no more needed. But uh, but I would leave anyway. It's just I'm just joking. But yeah, but in, in any so case, uh, with, the, with the languages, uh, apart from the main spoken, it's also interesting to see uh, which are the other languages that they can spoke, or if we are missing locales. Uh, for example, for, for Spanish, uh, uh, they were not just, of course, writing uh, Spanish as a language, uh, but we got uh, Galician, we got uh, Catalan, uh, the same for Portuguese, uh, they were specifying the, the different uh, uh, locale. So it's clear that uh, for some areas uh, uh, we need to, to do something more because English is a barrier. That is uh, loud and clear. Absolutely. Heiko, what's your yes. question? Uh, it's rather a comment. Mm. Uh, one of the questions was whether the participant was a TDF member or not. Mm -hmm. And as far as I remember, we sent out this survey to all the members via mailing list. The, um, the result is that about two-thirds of the total number of 250 should be, let's say, 80 uh, state being a member of TDF. That means, on the other hand, that at least 50% of TDF members do not reply or do not answer mm -hmm. a survey, yeah. which is something I believe the MC should uh, take care of and should uh, have a look into it. Yeah. We have um, with similar problems with every um, vote on uh, the new board or the new MC. We have the same problem um, every quarter with uh, renewal answers that we have to re-ask uh, multiple times, um, mostly with, because of experience, mo uh, the same persons. Um, just an example that yesterday uh, a member of uh, the TDF said, yeah, I'm checking the mails from Leap Office every eight weeks or something like that. So, yeah, I'm not a good guy, um, but that is a problem. If we have a survey and it's open for two weeks, three weeks, something like that, and somebody is checking every two months um, his mail address, it's getting hard to get the answers, actually. Yeah, we need to involve them more and uh, make them uh, curious to check if there are news on that uh, email address. Yeah, that is, seems to be the tricky part. We need to involve the members uh, a bit more, but from the comments, it uh, seems clear that uh, it's... Uh, it's not clear what is uh, this membership for. And it's, a problem. It, it's more interesting the two bars or uh, the two pie charts. Um, no, I don't want to become and I was a member. Yeah. What With makes a person to not renew? Or what, um, what makes a person for not... Um, want to become a member yeah. i mean this year these two years are special you saw we, we got several uh, uh membership uh, dropped because of lack of contributions due to covid so 
that it's a factor that we can't ignore, but it's not just that. That one can't be the, the catch-all for all the problems uh, we are facing uh, at TDF. Any other comment? Feedback? There is Emiliano who wrote that there will oh. be another round of the survey and uh, I expect let's get that one better, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, maybe we could... Uh, we could do it uh, yes, in parallel with a uh, with a month of LibreOffice, so really yeah. making it uh, a recurring event, uh, one time per year, two times per year, for getting uh, fresh feedback from the community and uh, letting them know that uh, we want to get uh, feedback from them. Sure, indeed, I think that um, the survey itself, if it reaches all the uh, community members and TDF members itself it is a, a way to demonstrate to uh, let's say uh, give uh, give the impression that we indeed care of the feedback and so uh, we should probably uh, think about having it uh, regularly and improving time by time in the meanwhile Sophie is just saying thank you to Jona and Marina for the presentation no, thanks to all of you for the for the support, uh, Sophie, uh, Mike, uh, Italo, Aiko in particular. That uh, helped uh, a lot uh, with uh, the refinement and preparation uh, of the survey. So yeah, we was, had uh, the idea. That, uh, his... <laughs> I was impressed by you know um, his uh, daily updates, daily reports about the number. Yeah. Which were, yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Aiko is running surveys for um, the, the different uh, uh, topics uh, for the design part uh, really often. So it's clear that uh, we got the expert on board uh, for the topic. Yeah. So, <laughs> so thanks a lot. Very used to. And also for being he's so patient with, uh, with us, uh, uh, with uh, not exactly real time <laughs> reply to your. No, we are Questions. we are beginners in that field. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Especially, especially you know, uh, compared to him. Okay, so um... uh, Emiliano says that is a good idea to uh, let's say synchronize some, somehow the 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 surveys with the month of Libra. Yeah, could be nice. Mm -hmm. So thank you all for attending and uh, see you around uh, during uh, the rest of the conference.